In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the All The Mods 10 mod pack in Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. And all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in CurseForge Download. CurseForge is an application that will easily allow us to download mod packs with the click of a single button. So let's just go ahead and enter it in just like so. And then you want to go to the official download page right over here. It should look something like this. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on download standalone. Now just wait for it to install and then it should be right over here. If for whatever reason you're not able to see the CurseForge Windows installer on the top right like me, you guys could always go ahead and just open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. Alright, so now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the CurseForge installer to your desktop just like so. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing because it will just make the process a little bit easier. Then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and double click on it just like so then wait for it and then bam it is going to give you a menu that looks like this and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on next then it is going to tell you exactly where in your device it is going to download curseforge so go ahead and just press on i accept then go ahead and press on next and now it will begin to install curseforge all right boys once you're done with that it is going to give you a menu that looks like this and the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on minecraft just like so and as you're able to tell i already have some mods downloaded right over here but if you haven't ever downloaded mods then this part will actually be empty so in order to actually start downloading all the mods 10 all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar just like so and then look up all the mods 10 Bam, there you go. And you should be able to find it relatively easily. Yep, here it is. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on it. Then you want to go ahead and press on this orange button that does say install. Now, I will warn you guys, the Ollie Mods 10 is probably like one of the biggest mod packs out there. So it may take a little while for it to actually install. Now, in this video, I'm showing you how to play all the Mods 10 on a single player world. But believe it or not, you guys can play all the Mods 10 in a server thanks to our partner, Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and quality servers where you're able to upload mod packs such as all the Mods 10, Pixelmon, and even Cobblemon with the click of a single button. In fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers there is also 24 7 live customer support where you're talking to a real human being not an ai chatbot if this is something you're interested in feel free to check out the link in the comment section down below and in the pinned comment all right so once the all the mods 10 mod pack has finished installing all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play all right once you're done with that you'll now be in the minecraft launcher and you may need to go ahead and sign into your microsoft account if you never used curse board before so please go ahead and sign in anyways guys you want to make sure that minecraft job edition is selected and in the version selector you want to make sure that all the mods 10 is actually selected now before we actually go ahead and press on play we need to make a few adjustments because i'm not going to lie to you guys all the mods 10 is one of the heaviest mod packs out there so you are going to need as much ram as possible all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and select on installations then go ahead and locate all the mods 10 go ahead and press on edit press on more options then where it says JVM argument. So you want to make sure that you do set it to as much megabytes as possible. So me, I have like around 8,000 megabytes worth of RAM on my uh, system, AKA eight gigabytes worth of storage. So if you have like 16 gigabytes, then you want to go ahead and enter like 1600 right over here. So please keep that in mind because you really want to go ahead and have as much RAM as possible. All right, guys, after that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play, press on I understand, then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys, and then eventually you should be loaded into the All the Mods 10. Now, keep in mind, it actually might take like a couple of minutes for Minecraft to actually open up. So if that does happen to you, that is 100% normal. Just be patient because it'll be worth it. Then you want to go ahead and press on continue. Then from here, you guys can go ahead and start playing. All right, and once you're done with that, you can now go ahead and start having fun. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, french fries.